What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here and today we're going to be talking about how to fix the PlayStation 4 corrupted data error. So this is a weird error that kind of pops up on like your game itself actually ends up showing corrupted. So this basically happens, so let me show you uh, kind of like what it could look like. So where I you currently see it says Dark Souls or Battlefront or Season 4 for Call of Duty Warzone. Over here, this will instead say corrupted data with a grayish black screen with like a, a, a X-ish or like a, not an X, but like a broken up image within the middle of the two, like something breaking apart. So this usually happens because your save data got corrupted or the you were getting multiple, uh, the database is corrupted error and then you obviously did not get a chance to resolve it or you just didn't have the knowledge on how to resolve it. This ended up occurring to you. Now don't be alarmed, it's, there's a few simple fixes for this and all of them should in theory work. The first one I would recommend is you actually go to the settings. So if, when you go to settings, go over to storage Within storage, let it calculate what your current storage is at, and in here, go hover over save data to the game applicable to this error. So let's say it is Star Wars that you're having this error with, you're going to basically hover over and you're going to find something called corrupted data. And in that, you're going to say, delete that save file. So what actually happens is that game actually tries to load that corrupted save file and it causes the game to crash. So this can, like I said, it's a little bit odd, but it ends up doing that to you. And you'd be surprised even if a game is like Call of Duty or Fortnite, they have save files as well. And you can go in and find those corrupted save files and delete them as well. So this is usually the best method you can do and take to help you resolve your issue, you know. Uh, the next thing I would recommend is actually going back and deleting the game itself. So once you're back, let's say it's Dark Souls that you're having this issue with, you're going to click on the options button and then you're going to do delete and then you're going to just delete the game. This will, whether it's a CD or a, uh, or a digital download, it's going to delete the game. If it's a CD and a CD's in, it'll just re-download, which is fine. And if it's a, 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 a normal game, you're going to go hover over to library, uh, go over your purchase section and then download, um, excuse me, all the games or whatever game that you allegedly deleted. The next thing you can do if those two kind of fail, you can actually end up going to your uh, rebuilding your database. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below for that so you guys can like actually kind of follow through how to rebuild your database. Uh, it's a fairly simple and straightforward process. You don't have to like really stress about it. Um, and rebuilding that database should, again, be like the final straw in this and then help resolve your error. So yeah, <laughs> that those three tips should help you resolve the error. Um, I'm fairly confident the first one would be sufficient enough, but if not, definitely try the other two as well. Uh, so yeah, guys, if you overall found this video helpful and informative, please smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you guys are still stuck and you need help, please let me know in the comment section below and I will try to either make another video or in some way, shape or form, try to walk you guys through this. Uh, aside from that, Mo Gaming out.